Hi guys, it's Luke at Luke's Affordable Paint Service. Uh, coming at you with a, a how to make Nikolai Oxide, a very cheap alternative to making this stuff. Uh, I'm also trying out my new GoPro uh, and I'm checking out uh, microphones as well. I have got another microphone to try which is a better clip on, uh, but we'll just see how this one does and then in the next video I'll use a clip on and you guys can tell me which one's better. Alright guys, right, so how to make this. Now, I've been playing with all sorts of techniques and the one that I find that's come out best is getting a, a colour that's close from uh, home base, B&Q to get some colour pots. The problem is I went today to go get some uh, and I forgot to take this. So I'm doing it off eyesight. So what I've done is I've got some that I thought were near enough but there's, there's not much in it. This one's a bit pale and that one's a bit too blue. Uh, so I'll show you the pale one. I mean, we could always darken this up with a titch of blue anyway. Um, but I'll just do it with this colour, but I'll show you how, how well it works uh, alongside it anyway. So all you've got to do is get yourself a decent emulsion, a uh, tester pot, or even a, an acrylic if you get a decent acrylic paint that's close. Um, water. Shut up, Macari. Uh, and then I'm going to use some uh, acrylic flow improver, um, or you can use some fairy liquid if you've not got any of that. All right, guys. So I'll get this camera set up, um, and we'll we'll see how it see how we get on. Catching a bit. Right, guys. So get yourself a pot to mix it in. Um, I'm going to use this darker blue rather than the lighter one because if I put water and stuff in the lighter one, it's going to really make it pale, so it'll be harder to see on camera. It is a very different colour. Uh, this is more blue than green. But when you see how this works, you'll see that all you've got to do is get the colour right. Um, but what I'll do is uh, I'll do I'll show you me using this stuff um, at a later date when I'm doing more spirits and ghosts and stuff, and when I'm painting other things. Um, but I'll take it and get it colour matched. In other words, guys. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just use this colour. But you'll see if I do it in spirits and things like that, um, I wouldn't. You know, it might be a bit too blue for using on your brass and things like that. But if you, all you've got to do is get this tub, if you've got it, and literally take it to like a place and get a colour match, like paint tub, just walk around so you find a, a tester pot that's a similar sort of colour. All right, guys? Um, but simple to make. All you've got to do is uh, get a nice amount of paint. To, the emulsion can be quite thick, guys. So just, you know, blob it in there like that. Um, and then what I like to do is I like to get a pipette, 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 whatever you want to call it, um, and literally just put a couple of squirts of uh, water just in there and just till we start seeing it go quite runny. That's nearly perfect. I'll put another bit of paint in though just to make it a little bit thicker. Now, what we're saying with acrylic flow aid, guys, uh, if you haven't got acrylic flow aid, I'm just going to use it because I've got some and it is slightly better than using like my old method of fairy liquid. All right, guys. Now, acrylic, all acrylic flow aid is, is it keeps the, the properties of the paint working correctly. All right. Um, now, like I said, when I were decorating, we used to put we watered paint down. We used to put fairy liquid in just to help that work. All right. Uh, but now, acrylic flow aid. It's just it does work a little bit better, but it is quite expensive. I mean, that bottle's about seven quid, but it lasts a lifetime, guys. All right. So all I do is I just get a bit in a pipette or pipette, whatever you want to call it. I mean, I filled it up, but I literally put three or four drops in. All right. And then that just keeps the properties of the paint working correctly. Okay. Now that's mixed. Now what I'll do is I'll put a bit on here for you. Like that. Okay. And then what I'll do is I'll put a bit of the nickel oxide on as well. Just get another one of my cheap brushes, which are still holding up, guys. These Balmere brushes, I've been using them for weeks. Uh, but well, about a week now. And they're holding up really well. Um, so... That's still a little bit thick, but obviously it does work on plastic better, does emulsion than this acrylic. Okay, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'll add a bit more water to that, uh, and then what we're trying to do is get it. It won't react the same on this um, big piece of plastic like it will on a model, um, because obviously emulsion's got a bit more surface tension than acrylic, 
uh, on unprimed surfaces. Okay. But there we go, look, that's better. Yeah, right. So that's working great now. Now, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you and get this out of the way on two lovely miniatures. <laughs> I've got two Gretchens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my paint first. All right, so I'll smother it all over. What I'm doing is just showing you how to do that um, that paint technique uh, where you make everything look like ghosts again. Uh, but what I'm showing you how to do is just using a cheap emulsion, which is um, obviously a lot cheaper. Because you saw how much paint I used out of that tub, and that tub was £1.40. Um, so all you do is you bath that over the miniature like that. Okay. A little bit more. Like that. And then what we'll do is we'll let that dry. Like that. And then what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll put the Nikolai Oxide on a model, and then I'll show you how it looks at the end, okay? And as you can see, as you're painting it on the miniature, the paint behaves so similar. Um, now, this Nikolai Oxide is sticking a tiny bit better, but what I should have done is not added that water. <laughs> um, if I'd have kept it that little bit thicker, it would have worked a bit better but the finish will be very similar it's all about getting your mixes right guys okay so what i'll do guys i'll let them both dry and then you'll uh, see what they look like at the end like i said the colors are a bit different but you'll see that the finish is very similar all right guys i'll catch you in a bit right guys so we're all done um, it's all dry and everything else and it's come out more or less exactly the same guys so as you can see the coverage and the surface tension is more or less the same um, it, the only thing that's different is the color okay I do apologize that I didn't go out and get the same color it's just when I got back I really couldn't be bothered going out <laughs> and getting um, the uh, the same color um, but like I said, I do like that blue and I might have to do some ghosts that colour because that blue is really nice. Um, but like I said guys, so if you're doing spectral armies, just watering down your, your house emulsions, so 150 for a pot that size and you saw I used a couple of, you know, a, a bit of paint on a brush which that would probably do about 10 miniatures what I made guys. So it is an awful amount, you're not going to use all that at all. Um, but like I said, this is the whole point of me doing this. Use your colours you go at home. You don't even have to go out and get any colours. If you've got a like a real, like a teal green uh, that's close to the Nikolai Oxide, rather than going out and buying the Nikolai Oxide, just put a couple of drops of acrylic, water and Flo-Aid and you've got the product yourself at home without having to go out and get it, okay? So that's what I'm about, you know, pound saving tips as you know, guys. But like I said, let me know what you think to the, uh, to the camera, the audio. Is it a lot better? Let me know. Um, tell me what you think. Uh, like I said, like, share, subscribe, guys. There's going to be more products coming out soon. I'm currently working on how to mess around with, like, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Nurgle Rot, uh, Blood for the Blood God. I've got some ideas that I'm going to play with. I'm going to show you how to make them as well, guys. Um, so, like, share, subscribe. Check out my page for chatting. Uh, it's Luke, uh, Luke's APS Hangout Discussions. Um, and just... You know, if you want to chat on there, there's some really experienced guys. It's, a lot of them know more than me. Um, so, you can uh, fire away in there, guys, and I'm sure myself and loads of other people will help you out. Uh, and I'm starting to do a live hangout uh, where if you're ever stuck and you're working on an evening or whatever, I'll do a live hangout. You can come and I'll, I'll sit and paint with you and help you through if you're stuck on anything. All right, guys. So, like, share, subscribe. Catch you again soon in a bit.